time in cities I ain't never been to yet Pretty broads with foreign cars who fly around in jets I don't need no kerosene, I'll light it all myself Alright, alright, yeah Amsterdam and Trinidad ain't never seemed so close In the sky with wings tonight, I'll hit the golden coast I don't need no kerosene, I'll light it all myself Alright, alright oh. For cities I might never call my home. Synagogues and cinemas from Budapest to three. I sound really groggy and tired because I literally just woke up. It's like 6.45 in the morning right now, so it's uh kinda kinda hard to be wide awake right now. Um I intended on getting a sunrise this morning. I set an alarm for 5 30 a.m. and I was gonna get up and walk down to the beach it's like a 10 minute walk uh, and get a full shot of the Sun coming up over the water but I kind of sort of turned my alarm off went back to sleep woke up at like 6 shortly after 6 and by that point the Sun was already coming up and I wasn't gonna make it so I believe we're going to the aquarium where we were at in the first vlog, but we didn't actually go in uh, over there by on the boardwalk. It's crazy. I promise we won't hurt your babies. No, God. It's a beautiful dog. Thank you, sir. I want five of them. I love them. Another day at the beach. And today there's literally like nobody here. I wonder why there were so many people here yesterday, but not today. Probably because it's earlier. I'm sure once like around noon when we started seeing people come and come back. It's Friday. There has to be. Yeah, that's what I was here. thinking. But we were here about the same time yesterday, weren't we? No, we came out like 10:30 yesterday. I think. Yeah, it was like. It was late. Oh. Well. We're sleeping really long. Oh yeah, we went to bed late, that's right. Four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I can't get over how beautiful that dog is. So one side of my charging cord, when I use it, it like it'll charge for a second and then it'll not charge. It'll charge for a second and then it won't charge. If I flip it over, it's fine. But that definitely either has to do with the sand or the water, I don't know. Right. Probably well, say the water. I don't know. I mean the phone's waterproof without a case on it. So the sand, that's just So I kinda think it's the sand. Maybe a mixture of both. Probably. Oh fuck. What is what is mm -hmm. this? Sorry, fam. This is inside of the little uh store over here by where we're staying. I just figured I'd come in here and look around just because I haven't really had a chance to to be in here yet. They closed kind of early yesterday, so didn't get to come in here. There's some cool stuff. I mean, it's like your typical convenience store, but they have bait. What's it is? Squid. Um, mullet. Okay. Shrimp. I've used shrimp before. Crab stuff. Minnows or little fish. Cut chicken necks. Huh. Silver side, squid scented, squid white, live worms. It's been a while since I last recorded. We were at the beach and now we're inside of the arcade. I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. 
basketball hoops. I don't really know what this is. Milk jug toss, okay. Playing ski ball. I put my quarter in there. This is for start. This is for start. Swipe to play. That's for that's for this one. Swipe on that. Swipe what? I would assume it's a screen. Okay. No, there's something that goes in here. Hey, how do these uh, ski ball machines work over here? Everything runs off of the carts, so just gotta get a card and then just where are the cards at? Right here. Yeah. Okay. soft on the edge. I'm vlogging. Okay, like, dude, what? You stop. You, you weren't, you weren't going to tell me? Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your YouTube so I can check you out? <laughs> Be aware for the horrible lighting here momentarily. If they come close, feel free to touch them, guys. Hannah, here has some food. She'll bring them around to you. Is 
of contamination. Yeah, they're really picky about that. Oh, collision, collision. Whoa. This is actually female. That's a big girl. <laughs> they're like big mushrooms. I, <laughs> I like to call them water puppies. I mean, Can you explain like Steve Irwin? Really? <laughs> um. Uh, bad luck. Well, okay. So this is what happened, from my understanding. Um, Steve Irwin tried to grab a stingray and it scared it. So stingrays defend themselves by using their barbs. Uh, unfortunately, he got stabbed in the chest area and he pulled it out. He actually bled to death. Yeah, I had a teenager come in here about five years ago. Exact same story happened to him, but he kept the barb in, and he's totally fine. So it's just one of those freak things, you know? So does it release after you get him with it? Oh, they can break off. So is that what we actually... Like, if we go to the hospital, they can take it out and live? Yeah. Um, okay. We clip ours, so they're pretty easy to kind of just, like, snip. That's that frog. Oh, he's behind this leaf back here, too. There's one over here oh, yeah, on he's this a little frog. Oh, I see him. Okay. Is that, wait, oh, look at that green one. Look at them green ones back there, son. Oh. From Budapest to Rome I don't need no kerosene I'll light it on my own Alright, alright I go nowhere and back Searching for trouble wherever it's at I swallow the fumes, I fell in the cracks More or less than then expected on whether to follow the map Damn, new exchanges, different language elevated God damn, I'm an acclimated man Oh man, oh my, I just wanna see the basically anywhere up on top of their shell. They can't pinch or bite or sting. Something like that. They're all friendly. Yeah, dig in. These look like those really, really prehistoric things. They, they really are. They, uh, they've they been around for like 300, 400 million years. Ish. So that is like a spawning behavior they do. So uh, once a year, all the horseshoe crabs will start migrating up to the shoreline to start spawning and laying eggs. And when they do, uh, the males, the small ones, they have hooks in their front two legs like this that clamp onto the back of the female's shell. So she'll start laying her eggs and then pull the males across the nest to fertilize the eggs. But in this tank, they're a little weird because they hang out all year round, not just that one. Yeah, it's a whole horseshoe crab. I mean, it's a horseshoe crab. <laughs> Are you drowning? I can't breathe. Oh, you drowning? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Your hair's wet. I feel like I'm suffocating in there. They steam? They won't do anything. They have to technically sting to eat their food, but their food's that like orange thing on that tentacle. It's microscopic shrimp, not big enough for us to honestly see. Um, we just try not to touch the tentacles because little kids like to pull things out. Poor 
guys. I'm gonna touch you. We'll die. I'm allergic to jellyfish. These are the only ones I can touch. They won't do anything. It's kind of funny they put you over in the jellyfish section. Yeah, they <laughs> still don't know I'm working for two years. It's just not worth it. I'm not so in the back. you just touch them anyway? You want to touch them on the top, but that's just because little kids honestly pull off their tentacles, so we don't let people touch them. Oh. I'm afraid. I don't know. Maybe in a twist of fate, you touched it, and you're actually allergic. Oh, God. Maybe that's it. I forgot to record the outro before the end of the night. We kind of chilled, played cards, and then I got really tired. And I went to sleep, so I want to apologize for that here in this clip. Um, and also let you guys know that I hope you enjoyed the rest of this, or, you know, the entire video. Going to the aquarium was really cool. Got to see some things. Uh, it was just, it was a fun night overall. I know it was some really dark clips, and I do apologize for that. I don't know how grainy it's going to be, because it's just going to come down to me, how I edit it and what I show. But... If it is really grainy, I do apologize, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying all these vlogs.